host DT for UFF and I am here with three legends of the game. Terry Butcher, Jim Rosenthal, Paul Parker. Now, history of football and of course the World Cup squad was announced yesterday so it makes sense to get straight into the squad and the announcement by Gareth Southgate. First of all, I'll ask Terry, what are your thoughts on Gareth Southgate's squad for the World Cup in Russia? It's good, I think it's quite good, very young. Versatility is the word of the day. Because the players can play in different positions. He likes that as a manager. It's lacking in a bit of experience, but um, it's one not for, not necessarily for this World Cup, but for the, for the Euros in two years' time, and then the World Cup in four years' time. If they can keep this, the nucleus of this squad together, there'll be a lot of players that will actually play in all three championship, championships as long as England qualify. Those, yeah. But, yeah. But I think it's good for the future. So a lot of, a lot of good young players. So. A lot of energy as well, that's another big word. Yeah. yeah. Would you guys, any of you feel that there's any omissions from the squad that you would like to have seen? Maybe a Jack Wilshire or, um, you know, is there anyone in the team? Straight in at Jack Wilshire. Oh, I did have You were yeah. 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 an Arsenal, Arsenal. man. I, 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 did, I did have to throw <laughs> that Maybe one a in there. But, um, <laughs> and also, some of the inclusions as well. You know, Gareth has said that it's about form, but then you look at some of the inclusions of Danny Rose, hardly placed for, for Spurs. Um, so yeah, no, again, on, that's no, another Arsenal thing. If you're a lawyer, that will be like an objection here because you're leading. Leading question. Leading. That's yeah. what I mean. That's what I mean. Don't lead. I mean. no, I'm going to come in there and I'm going to turn on. around and say, that you talked about Danny Rose, and that's the first thing I talked about. Hardly played for Spurs. When he has played for Spurs, he hasn't been in great shakes, hasn't played any big games for Spurs. Yeah. It was always um, Davis who was always playing. And the other one is, look, if you're talking about bringing someone in, because England are lacking creativity, that one player isn't your Jack Wiltshire, it's Adam Lallana. Oh, yeah. He's the one, for me, who works with the ball. He moves the ball quickly with his feet. He's quick across the ground without the ball as well. He's the one that I think if you're talking top level, in, in big games, he's the one you need. He does it in the final third. Jack Wiltshire, for me, is a little bit laboured, and because of his injury situation, you can't, cannot gamble on him. But do you not think that Jack's got a full season under his belt? Nearly a full season at Bournemouth last year when he went out on loan. Gareth said, "Go and prove yourself in the Premier League." He's played consistently in You're the Premier League. You're upset about Jack. Yeah, oh, you I'm can feel the bit in the I'm gutted. I'm gutted. I, 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 I am gutted. I just, I just I let genuinely it go. Let it go. I can't. Can't. It, it's too raw at the moment. It's only been 24 hours, and I'm gutted. And it, you know, to show I'm not overly biased, I don't believe that Danny Welbeck should be in the England squad. Well, that's that's what I, I was going to say. I would pull out Welbeck and I would put Lallana in, in there mm. instead he's of Welbeck. He's got a lot of goals for England, Welbeck, isn't he? Oh, he's, so he's top goals, scorer. I'm just, scorer. Yeah, but I'm just in this I, I just think there's more than goals. I think mm. you're looking at someone about creating, and as much as we talk about how many goals he scored, we've got to look at how his form's been brass. He's not going to start. He's not going to no. start, is he, Welbeck? No. What do you think Gareth's thinking of, like behind that one? Do you think it's because when Welbeck's sort of fit and firing, okay, he might not be the finished article in terms of finishing, etc., but he is direct. He can. Kind of change games. You think it's the pace power. thing? Do you think strong, it's strong? Yeah, yeah and knows, knows where the goal is and well, scores goals and set goals up. But if you're going to go with pace, then you've got Rashford there already. Yeah. Rashford is young, desperate to play, to get a run, a run of games, desperate mostly to represent his country in a big tournament. He's the yeah, one who's got, he's got the most. Rashford or Welbeck? Rashford. Although Rashford's Robert. had an up and down season. Yeah, 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 yeah. That he has. I mean, I mean let's, let's be yeah. fair. Well, I mean, it's not always what your choice Even with one of the two Gooners' complaints there. I mean, <laughs> I mean, he has not got a massive pack to choose from, Gareth Southgate. And I think he's done mm. pretty well. Up in the North East, they might cry for John Joe Shelby. Yeah, but, he didn't even yeah, but, look at yeah. But on the other hand, I think what we want from this England team is for once for a team to go to a tournament mm. and produce. So that's on to the next thing. I, that, how that, far can really we realistically that, go? That speaks the voice of sense. Yeah. <laughs> you tell you what it is. Yeah. That is Jim. <laughs> I mean, in, in realistic, I mean, as a country, sometimes, you know, we don't get behind the side. There's, there's a lot of split of opinion that we're, we're more behind our clubs in the country and we've been let down so many times by England in recent years. Yeah. Yeah. How far can we go Realistically, and what is progress? You know, getting to the knockout stages, maybe getting to the quarters. Is that progress? What would you define as progress, guys? Progress after the last World Cup. Progress is getting yeah. up, is getting up the group, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Unless I've got it wrong, progress yeah. is definitely reaching the, the quarterfinals for sure. And progress is, is, is giving us something to celebrate, mm. as opposed to something to be embarrassed about. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys are both the pros. I, I don't yeah. know whether the modern professional footballer at the end of a big season goes, "Oh, really good. I'm going to go with England." Now. I think this, I think most I think of this group of players is, is probably the best in terms of that attitude. They they want to go. Um, some are going away on holiday because they're not involved in the games coming up. 
Uh, but I think they all want to meet up together and just get this thing started. And I think mm -hmm. that's, that's encouraging with the two friendly games coming up. But it's, you say, you know, how far can we go? It's, it's, it's down to the players. As soon as you get through the, the group stage, anything can happen. But our record in knockout games is awful. It's, it's terrible. And confidence wise. Yeah. And God help us if but we get penalties gone. as well. No? <laughs> what do you think, Paul? Especially against the Germans, if we get penalties. I, I mean, I have to concur with it. I think, I believe if we get to the quarterfinals, I think we've. I think we've done we'll well. Mm -hmm. If we get to the quarterfinals and all of a sudden you start thinking about the next bit, and yeah. if you get a little bit of good fortune, then you get to that next bit. Mm. And that's the bit we've got to look at. Is, is it, we're talking about a team being young, they're inexperienced. Mm. I, mean, I don't think that comes into it. I just think they're enthusiastic. And I, I think a lot of them have a passion to do well. Yeah. Mm. The young players will have a passion to do well because at the end of the day, if you do well in your national team, it's amazing what it makes you. You can talk about club football, Champions League, do well for your country, you get everything back. That look, that's, that's why we yeah. have a History Channel. We've got some yeah. great <laughs> people yeah. on yeah. the History Channel coming up on the 28th of May. Mm. Uh, for nice 14 plug. days. Yeah, good plug. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you talk about history, and you made the point about it might not be about this World Cup, it's about the next one, about the Euros. Do you know, I hate that. I hate it. Sport is about the here and now. And you've yeah. got to do it here yeah. and now. I'm but not interested in having into, just I'm not into no planning in terms of going forward. You've got to have a situation that, you that's say, to say right, get out of, For me, that's to get out of jail. Go, to take the pressure off. We haven't got much to hang on to. Let's no. have a good World Cup here and build a foundation for the next one uh, after mm. the Euros. So, but why can't we, you know, at the end of the day, why can't we get through the group stage and just say, right, well, let's see where it takes us. It's like a free Because this group of players doesn't know much about World Cups. It's very inexperienced. doesn't know much about success in tournaments. It's never had that. On the History Channel, you see legends on there. And, and mm -hmm. English players now can be legends because they can carry their country forward. Look at Ronaldo for the Europe, for the for the Euros. Mm -hmm. He was he was great. Yeah, Most of his honest. rest of his team was yeah. crap, to be he honest. But they got through yeah. and he carried them through. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. oh, no. And then one one question I wanted to ask as well is is if we do not, for example, get out of the group stages and we have a horrendous torn, tournament, again, like, don't jinx again. It. But I'm not saying we're going to. It's all right. I've seen the picture of you with the blood one, all yeah, exactly. it's, it's, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. But um, it's cool for Jack Wilshire then. Uh, yeah, that's it. It's definitely Jack should have been there, and we would have got through further. But do you feel that that would be it for Gareth Southgate? That we should look for someone else because no, no. no I'm no, going to throw a name in there. Go on. And again, this is Arsenal oh, orientated. Yeah. Arsene. What about Arsene Wenger? Well, I know I very much wanted him out at Arsenal, <laughs> but he's French. Sean Dyche. Yes, he's English. Well, I don't know. You I know you'd be very passionate <laughs> on the sense yeah, that he has to be an Englishman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But no, I do not think Arsene could I've do a job for the England side. Uh, he could do, but he's French. Okay. Yeah. And I, I think I'm right. I think I'm right very about true. Arsene. Yeah. That a few years ago, he was approached by the FA. Yeah. And said, well, they were uh, "Nor, they nor were, Messi." Well, they were he said, "Very, you know, very." Well, they were approaching, they were approaching <laughs> everyone. Didn't want it know. wasn't born in England. They were approaching everyone. So there we go. So yeah. But Arsenal no, was more than natural. Choice. Do you feel that strongly about that, Terry? In terms of, yeah, do you I think the really national strong, manager yeah. you, should if be? If English. you mention Arsenal being again, I'm going to hit you. <laughs> 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 it's English. It's the English team manager. Spain. English. Yeah. There's a criteria. It says on the tin, English. Jim wanted to I, ask you about Sven. I, I, do, <laughs> I, I understand where Terry's coming from because when when it was first don't, announced don't about um, <laughs> Sven Goran Eriksson taking over, I did at that time say, no, it's not right. You should have an Englishman that understands the values of England. Gareth Southgate does that. Okay, you know he's not got great success internationally, but hey. Neither had uh, Joachim Löw for, mm. for, for Germany, neither had Klinsmann. And they, mm. they, had, they, had, they, they did very well for their country. So it's not about what you've done in the past, what you can give the, the here and now, Jim. Give the here and now. <laughs> no, I, I appreciate that. But, but you also, also, him. You also, him also him you, can't, if he you can't. You can't. After one, yeah. Yeah. You can't sack him. Well, do you think it helps that he's well, worked with the under 21s as yeah, well? He's just he bringing these sort of players through but on that journey. Bobby Robson, didn't, we, we didn't qualify in, eight, uh, in 84. I mean, look where we did in '86. Mm. So if they'd been him, uh, been Bobby after '84, then you know, we might never have got to the quarterfinals, and then mm. we might never have got the team for the semi-final. Paul, what do you reckon? You think that uh, the English manager should be in English? Does that does that matter too much to you? How do you feel? No, it definitely has to be English. I just think good, bad, or indifferent. You need someone who's actually breathing, breathing everything about the country, where the country that is actually managing. And I just felt with Capello and Sven was totally wrong. We never gained anything from yeah. it. I mm. think in certain ways we went backwards. In so, the you FA. Can, so you can put your Arsene Wenger in your pipe and smoke it. Do you know what it was? I had the theory of it before he left Arsenal because I just wanted to get rid of him. I don't try and cover yourself. Like, so it's I'm, just, like, I'm just trying to shop. <laughs> and I'm shop the way to England. Through a hand grenade this way, just run it right back at you. You know, and I've got to try and get rid of it somehow. So what we'll do is, as we're here talking about history, I want to ask your guys' thoughts on what has been the highlight 
for you personally, you know, World Cup highlight? Um, well, so far this interview, I mean, actually. <laughs> <laughs> in terms of playing, what stands out for you? Will it be 86 in, in your own book? World Cup. Yeah. No, no, 1990, semi final, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Even though we lost on penalties, it was still fantastic. You know, we all, that group of English players that went out for that, for that, um, for that game followed in the footsteps of the great 66 side. You mm. know, and, and to do that was just amazing. We, you know, we're obviously sorry and things like that didn't work out, but, yeah. you know, they, they are. I must say one thing about the, uh, the mentality of, say, the Germans. They, they go out strong. They are going to win this game. They are going to get to the final. Whereas we're, we're English a little bit too nice and all that. You know, we need to change that round. And so I got Gareth's into that as well, very much so. We need to change that. And lots of things we need to change. Little things we need to change. But we have, as, as, as Jim said, the pool of players isn't great. But can Gareth really gel it into a solid team like Greece did to win the Euros, like Portugal did to win the Euros, you know? different with the World Cup, but it's about unity within the team. Mm. And it's, it's about unity over a, a quite a long period of time yeah. as well, anything up to six weeks. And, and my highlight was actually with you guys in Italia 90. That was and, 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 no, I know, yeah. I do appreciate that you put up with me, <laughs> yeah. I do appreciate that. But um, that group, that group was, was fantastic with Bobby at the top of it and the group of players and the spirit there. It was a good spirit, it was, it? It, was, it was terrific, yeah. absolutely terrific. I mean, you guys that talk was. about unity and stuff, how important is that I was listening to some interviews um, earlier on today, and I heard Dean Ashton say that when he was in the English side, um, in the England side, he, he felt it was a little bit clicky. Some of the, you know, the players of, of the of the bigger teams were sort of in one bit. The Chelsea boys, the United boys. Yeah, what's that? Then? You know, back, what was it like back then? You know, was it was it clicky? I would. It's a bit different because then, for that um, 90s squad, it was like myself. I was at QPR. It was Nottingham Forest boys. There was Derby County. And there was um, there was the firm from Rangers, the Scottish yeah. Rangers, yeah. because Chris Waddle was Mars was Marseille, and so there wasn't like none from Arsenal. No, the Arsenal you're right. The Arsenal boys got left behind. Yeah. 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 So, um, That's why they didn't game. win it. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. There we go. But, but then we had like um, who else was there? There was the Liverpool boys. We had Steve Steve McMahon and Peter Beardsley. So there was a matter of different different bodies around, and we all got together. We didn't. We all sat on different t on different tables all the time. It wasn't. This is that table, and this is that. We just all got on well together. together. And uh, there wasn't really any, well. there wasn't any egos there. That, that was a big thing as well. Mm. Everyone no, was together. Another big difference was all you guys were playing in what was then the first division. You yeah. were automatic yeah. choices well, we for, in, for your club. We up in Scotland. D doesn't happen. Doesn't happen now. Doesn't yeah. happen. We were slightly. <laughs> you're, getting it, you're getting it now. I'm glad technically you're wrong there, but it was in, we were in Scotland. In your first up. team, then. Do you want me to say that? that in, the first, in the first team. Very, very. Mm. Well, you've you got to be exact there. We're, yeah. we're talking, you know. It's fine, fine details. Right, exactly. we're going to wrap this up. We're going to we're going to start on this side. Predictions. How far we're going to go I'm in this World Cup? In the World Cup, yeah. I'm going to say we're going to get to. I'm going to go to round the 16. Round the 16, Jim. Yeah, I think we should get out of the group because the Belgium game is last. Hopefully, it'll be done and dusted by then. And then I agree with my learned friend here. Last oh, 16. 16. Terry? You miserable people. Yes, oh, we, are. <laughs> we are. The we pessimist, are. not optimistic. No, are really full, half empty? Really? <laughs> empty glass with you, I tell you. Quarter um, cool finals. Because I think. That's only one more game, Butch. Well, that's it's progress. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's a lot longer than a competition than you boys were. <laughs> no, just look, look, at, look at the, group, look at the, the next group that you play, the winners and the, and the it's, a, it's a comfortable group if, if, if we get through, we finish first, second, whatever. But uh, I think Germany are waiting the, in, the, in the quarters as well. So, you know, there we go. Germany or Brazil, I think, something like that. So, yeah, you know, it's, it's there for you. It's there. You need it's a bit fun. of luck as I well. Think, yeah, you need luck. But I think that the more the team plays together, the better it will become. I'm, I'm, I'm convinced of that. Brilliant. Well, guys, thank you very much for joining yeah, us. It's been pleasure. an absolute pleasure. Guys, make sure you check out this stuff on history. It's going to be a fantastic opportunity for you guys to see some real legends and to get some great coverage throughout the World Cup and the lead up to the World Cup. Thanks for watching.